Part of our modern experience with the internet is having sites try to personalize content for us. A lot of this is driven by a sort of reality of the modern internet, which is advertising. A lot of sites are free, a lot of sites generate revenue by selling ads, and selling ads uh, can be done much more effectively if you can target those ads at consumers, if you can figure out who should see a particular ad. Uh, who, if I put this ad somewhere, I'm going to buy a certain number of page views on Facebook or on Amazon or on Google. I want those sites to have some idea of who to deliver that ad to so that it's effective. So, you know, if I delivered the ad to the wrong person, they're not going to click on it. If I delivered the ad to the right person, maybe they will. Um, there's a variety of good tools out there that I would urge you to explore to find out more about why particular sites are showing you particular ads. And those tools, in some sense, sort of you can reverse engineer them to figure out what the site thinks about you or what it thinks it knows about you. Now, particularly things like Facebook, you provide so much structured data to Facebook. So you go into your Facebook profile and you tell it where, you, where you're from. You tell it how old you are. You tell it what bands you like. You tell it what books you like. So you're giving, you know, a site like Amazon.com has to try to reverse engineer a lot of that information. But a social networking site like Facebook has all of this really well-structured data about you. And they use that data to try to target ads. So, you know, should I, you know, if it's an ad for a particular car, I'm not going to show ads for expensive vehicles to a 12-year-old. I might show it to, you know, a 32-year-old that just graduated from business school, for example. So I'm on my Facebook page, um, and I'm, I'm using this tool so you can access this by going to uh, settings and then um, ads down here uh, in, in the left. And, and then it says ads based on my preferences. I click edit, and then I hit visit ad preferences. So this is a page that allows me to view and, and uh, edit some preferences about the ads that Facebook is showing me. So for example, um, in here, here's what Facebook thinks I'm interested in, books. Okay, that's not terrible. That's kind of um, that's kind of right. Some of these I don't even understand. So um, the next one is instant messaging. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't do any instant messaging. In fact, I even hate installing Facebook's instant messaging apps. Um, away from hometown. So that is technically true. I am technically away from my hometown. I don't know what kind of ads you deliver to people who are away from their hometown. I don't know. I just, I'm just i not an advertiser, so I don't really know how to think about this information. Uh, birthday in 09 September. Um, that's also weird. What does that mean? I guess my birthday is in September. Um, and, and so, you know, you can look at this. Now, U.S. politics, very liberal. That's probably true, right? Away from family, also true. Friends of newlywed. I don't know where they get some of this stuff. I mean, some of this stuff is kind of wrong, right? Uh, some of it's not bad. So, for example, if you go over here and look at uh, food and drink, uh, it thinks I'm interested in Soylent, which is true. I do buy Soylent. And then just food, generally, I like that. They don't really know anything else about me other than I like food, which is actually true. Uh, so these aren't terrible. Uh, fitness and wellness, I have no idea. While well, somehow it's, it, I've decided, it's decided that I like Dove toiletries. Um, that I don't get. Uh, cycling, that's, that's correct. And so you can use this tool to find out what Facebook and other websites think they know about you. Now, keep in mind, I mean, you've given Facebook a lot of structured data, but we all, you know, I don't share everything on Facebook, and if Facebook was trying to use the content of the posts and other information that I have shared on Facebook to find out about me, um, that might lead to particularly misleading impressions. But I would encourage you to get familiar with these tools, whether it's on Facebook, Google has similar tools. A lot of these websites have tools that will allow you to have some visibility into the information that the site has collected about you and to understand maybe a little bit better why the site is showing you certain ads or certain content.